Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, um, yesterday I didn't do one. Um, because I had something going on. And uh, today I thought I'd just do uh, two. And Sunday I'm going to do one with very cheap uh, paint. Uh, bought by, um, there's a local chain here, like a dollar store. And someone asked me, you know... I'm really on a tight budget. I don't have that much money to um, buy that paint. Could I do it with paint bought at that shop? So I'm going to try that out for uh, for the person that asked. Again, here are the, um, the people that donated. And um, there are some, some are just from uh, Pixabay that download my, um, download my pictures. But I just put them on here anyway because I don't know if you donating for the design stuff I do or for the videos so that doesn't matter I'm happy with any uh, thing that comes in and anything I make off the side off the Pixbay side I uh, put it towards my paint anyway because I've uh, I haven't uploaded there for a while so it's all going to the paint and uh, I want to thank you all for um, being so generous and uh, I'm really um, very uh, I very much appreciate it because, you know, I know it's not something that you just do like that. And um, I, I find it very special, so I want to say thank you. Then, you can put it on uh, pause this bit, because I have um, one very, very uh, nice uh, YouTube channel. That's Lily's Mix. If you go uh, on YouTube and you go to the search function and you type in Lily's Mix, the top one, then you'll find um, someone that makes uh, a lot of videos on mixed media. And she's um, joined my Facebook group. And she's got into this uh, painting. And she's done some really, really good videos. And, um, you know, I know that you all say how good I am. But it's always good to check someone else. Because, you know, people explain uh, the same process. They explain it differently. So go check out Lily's Mix on YouTube. And she has uh, a lot of goodies there. Uh, I subscribe to her channel because I don't want to miss one video because she does cool stuff. you got to check her out. Another one I want to talk about is this one. That's Monica Osborne Exploration of Art. If you type in Monica Osborne, you'll find her. And... Um, I thought I'd put that in because uh, it's someone who's just started uh, a, a YouTube channel and because a lot of you are asking me about resin and you know I'm not I'm not one of those resin people. I th find it too sticky and I don't like it and everything sticks together and got all these holes in the resin. So I was thinking you know if you really want to do resin um, and she just started the, the channel so there's only a couple of videos there. But you might, you know, have find something that interests you and helps you when you want to do your resin. She does really big pieces, and um, I, I think, you know, if you need it, go over there and uh, subscribe, and um, you'll find out more about resin pouring. Okay, then I'll put this aside for another day, And I'll tell you what we're going to do. You already, already read it in the title. Someone asked me to do a 3D pour. And I've never done that before. So, what I thought... Don't laugh! I uh, bought this little bird, uh, bird house. It's cute, isn't it? Wouldn't you just love if a little bird went in there and lived in there and had a family? <laughs> oh, I like small things. I don't know what it is. Just this morning, I did two little mini canvases. Look at that. <laughs> How cute is that? I just like everything small, I guess. I don't know. I'm a sucker for mini stuff. Look at that. That's another one I did this morning. And it was just leftover paint from two days ago. So um, this is another piece of information that's really good. You can mix paint days before. And I find it very important because when you're mixing paint, you should be mixing 
totally relaxed and uh, you got to get really into that mixing the paint and making it smooth and the, the right consistency and um, if you can make more paint like sometimes you don't even have time to mix in peace and, and tranquility like I call it so if you don't just mix up some paint like a couple of days before and then you can uh, totally focus on the pouring when you don't have that much time to pour. So, and everything was in there before I get all those questions. I had made paint two days ago and uh, I did the pour. That's the one, uh, the video before this one. And that was the leftover paint this morning with the pouring medium in it. The silicone was in it. Everything was in it. All I did was add a little bit of water because it got a little thicker. So I added a little bit of water and I I was just good to go. I could just pour away, so it works. Now back to our little house. Um, what I did do, because um, I'm reading a lot of people getting, um, you know, upset about um, all the cups I'm using and all that stuff. I bought a little house and it is FSC. And I don't know if you know if that is a worldwide thing, but it's... Um, made from trees that are specially grown to make this stuff and when they chop down a tree they grow another so I hope that I'm uh, you know just doing my part so and I got a, a whole lot of solar panels on my roof so I'm really helping um, I'm gonna be pouring this so I don't know how I don't know what's gonna be happening well that was a, a little iron thing I had connected to my iPad because I don't want you guys getting seasick, which you are a little bit now. Okay, so I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna be pouring and it's gonna be a big mess, I'm sure, because it's all gonna drop off all, all sides of this thing. And it's, it has six sides, so we'll just see how this works. Um. Someone said you can just pour it right just in one one thing. You just pour it all over and then wait for it all to sort of drip off and then do the torching. So we're going to be doing that. So I have some white, just a bit. And I made my own special color, the Van Dyke Brown with a little bit of orange in there and a little bit of yellow because I'd like a little bit of brown in there. And then I just mixed three different colors of green because if this turns out like I hope it will, I will be hanging it outside after I put a big layer of varnish on it to keep it, you know, from the rain and stuff. But I will certainly be using this in my garden. Okay, I have half a cup and I've put in all the colors I have. And I thought I would pour from first this part because you have to think about this when you do 3D stuff. So if I were to pour this first, no, I can't, see? Because then if you pour that later, it'll drop on here. So we're not going to do that. We're going to just pour. Uh, I hope nothing goes in the hole because I wouldn't want that. There we go. See, I was expecting that to happen. It's going all over the place. The things you people let me do. But I'll be picking that, picking it up soon with my um, palette knife. So don't worry. Look, there's even cells forming right now. It's so pretty. Look at that. I like it. Okay, let me get the palette knife. I already really like it. Uh, you know, this would even look good if you didn't even torch it. Got to get a little bit down here. And a little bit down here. Still some white showing. But that's it. And 
I'll just let it roll down, down the side. And with one hand, I'm, oh, you can see it, I think, what I'm doing. I'm uh, filling the cup again with a little bit more because I need a little bit more. But this is looking pretty, isn't it? I like it, those colors. Because I bet you were expecting that I was going to be using my <laughs> turquoise green again. But I thought, you know, let's do some um, really nice colors, nature colors. That is looking cool. Just a little bit more there. And then I might even get a brush to, um, to brush it on or something. This is the first time I'm doing a 3D. And it's something that I um, I think, you know, everyone should do, you know, just go for it. Don't overthink this stuff. It's, if you give a kid, you know, a couple of cups full of paint, they'll just go for it. They're not scared to make a mess or make something that's ugly. They don't care. They'll just go for it. And that's what we should do as adults, too. That's when you're having the most fun. Well, that's three sides pretty nicely covered. And I got the bottom covered too. And that is good because if it's going to be hanging outside, I'm sure the rain is going to get it. See how it slides down the side? And I have the same consistency of paint, so I didn't change anything. So it's the same consistency. Still one side to go. Up there. And I'll give this, a, I'll leave this a little with a little bit more white because I like that. And then up here. Don't want, don't want the paint to go inside because then the little birdies might not like it. So over here. So totally. Whoa, did you see that? Just, <laughs> that was blooper. Almost dropped that. Okay, totally covered. I have to wash my hands just for a bit. As you can see, you really need gloves with this type of pouring. You have to have gloves or you're going to be so covered in paint. So, whoops, I see a bit where the paint didn't get it. Right there. A little bit here. That's it. Now it's all covered. Try to pick it up and show you guys. And it's working. Nice little cells forming. I wouldn't be doing too uh, too much torching because um, with too much torching, you just might, I don't know, set the whole thing on fire. And if you're not totally um, adjusted to using a torch, I suggest you do it outside. Just a little bit more paint, let it drip off there. I love it when stuff works. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that it would work out as, as good as it did. Because it's it's totally beautiful. It is a beautiful little birdhouse. And you could even put it inside, you know, as decoration. Um, let me put it in the light so I can give you a close-up. But it is beautiful. It really is. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to give you a close-up. But first, what I did is um, I guessoed. 
because it, you buy these little things, uh, blank, uh, blank wood. So I gassoed it twice. The first time I put the gesso on and I put it above a heating thing, you know, uh, something warm so it would speed up the heat uh, and dry time. And I see another very small little piece that I didn't get. So that's better. And um, then, then I sanded it down some, to make it a little smoother. And then I gessoed uh, a second time and I let that dry and then uh, I poured. And the pouring is uh, one, two, three, four half transparent colors and one opaque. The, the white was opaque and the rest is all half transparent. So it worked out beautifully. It's like there's, I don't know, it's like there's moss growing on it. Something that has been outside for, I don't know, years. <laughs> it's beautiful, it really is. Okay, I'll get you down and you can see for yourself. Let me see if I can get you really close up and in focus. There you go. How beautiful is that? It's, it's just like there's stuff growing on it from being outside very a very, very long time. Uh, it's too bad there's so much uh, reflection on it. It is so cute. And it's totally covered. Let's see this side. Put the cups away. Let's see where are you. There you are. Look at that. You know, guys, the, the thing is that when people ask me to do um, do stuff like this, for me it's it's very enjoyable because maybe I would never come up with something like this. So then it's a, for me it's a first. And there will be a little bit of paint dripping. I, I see that it's dripping a little bit, but who cares? You know, it's a beautiful little birdhouse and has beautiful cells on it if you can see it right there and um, I'll show it again when it's totally dry and those little bumps you see let me see where my finger is right there on the roof you know when it's dry you, you don't even care because you don't even see them I really love it and thank you for um, letting me do this I really like it so that's one video which I've really enjoyed and um, I'll be doing one more and that is the mono monochrome someone asked me to do two colors and I'm gonna do a black and white because I saw someone do that yesterday and it totally totally was beautiful and in the next video I'll give you a link to a Facebook group where you can buy uh, the pieces uh, not only from me but from the whole group that we have a lot of talents and uh, people that put up their um, paintings there. So I'll do that in the next video. So thank you all for watching. I'm very happy with my new birdhouse and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.